Hello shavers, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a shave with the Razor Rock Triple X. Um, I've only used this about one time. And I'm going to be using the same razor, the uh, Rockwell 6S. Today I'm actually using a feather blade. I've never used a feather blade in this razor before. I've used a feather blade in my Edwin Jagger DE89, but never in this. I'm going to be using the R5 plate. So let me go ahead and load that up with the feather. There's the Rockwell 6S with the feather blade. And I got the R5 plate on. So first shave with this razor and blade combo. I, I really like the feather blades. I know they're super sharp, but after the first shave with them, I find them really enjoyable, really efficient. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and wet the face. I actually just took a shower. So skin's feeling already pretty good. Today I'm actually using my Sterling Badger. Um, I'm not sure which badger it is. Um, it's just costs about $28 on their site. Um, I've had this for about six months. Really like it. So that's that. And I'm going to go ahead and um, load up here. Load my brush with the Razor Rock Triple X. So. Scent on this, um, it's a, it's like a dupe of a really popular clone. I forget which one, but it smells really nice to me, and it was only ten dollars. So, only used this about once or twice. Haven't used this in a couple months. That's probably good. My brush is pretty dry. I had it soaking. I went, went ahead and got all the excess water out. All right. It smells really nice. Sense strength is about a five or a six, not too strong. Just, I don't know, I'm not too good with describing scents. It smells a little bit like the beach. Um, has kind of a cool smell to it. Good for the summer, I think. tips here. Dip them again. The lather's already pretty bubbly. I don't think I need to add any more water. I'm just going to keep working it. See if I can get a little bit thicker.
Maybe I didn't load it enough. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, this, I think it's a 28 millimeter knot. Badger. Alright, that's probably good. I still got a lot left on here. Super careful with this combo here. Wow. Okay. So far, I'm liking it. Really smooth. I think I got a pimple right here. And I gotta be careful on the neck. Pimple there. This lather is super soapy. So it's not it's not really creamy, it's more like a watered down watered down cream. Okay, well, I got two little weepers, but I had like a little bump here, some sort of pimple, and same thing there, so. I just gotta be careful with my skin. I don't have the best skin. Yeah, I'm not applying any pressure at all. Okay. Um, really smooth here. Not bad. That's pretty much what I expected from the feather. Especially the... My skin's not in the greatest condition right now. But this soap is pretty airy. There's a lot of big bubbles in it. And I didn't even put that much water. So it's not a thirsty soap.
I'm just not going to shave that there. I gotta be careful here. Oh. Just spilled water everywhere. Hmm. I'm just being extra careful because I'm not familiar with this combo. And I gotta be careful there. Let me just put some more. <laughs> yeah. Look how soapy that is. Maybe I didn't load it enough. I'm used to the barrister and man. I got a lot of stubble left here. But I got too many pimples. <laughs> if I go over it, if I go over it how I want to go over it, I know I'm going to get cut because I got too many bumps going on. So, that's actually pretty close. Super close. Really nice shave, just, um, not super close in this area, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse, and I'll be back. So I'm going to do a cold, cold water rinse here. Okay, just did a cold water rinse. I'm actually going to apply a little bit of alum. Right over here, it's supposed to help with um, acne as well. It's going to sting. And this block, I really need a new one. It's starting to disintegrate. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, it's, it's pretty rough. But no burn there. Little burn here. Actually, almost no burn. Nice. Here a little bit. Ooh. I actually used to apply a lum after every shave. But now I don't um, find I don't really need it as much. But with a feather, brand new feather blade, it's a good idea. Plus, I think it helps fight that acne I got going on down there. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. Um, I'm going to finish off with some Aqua Velva Ice Blue. I think it complements the Triple X. Yeah, should go nice with that. The uh, the triple X soap, the scent. Um, it's it's pretty mild scent. I'd say it's like a three or a four. I know out of the puck, it's about a five, but maybe even less. Maybe like a four. It's pretty weak. I think I'm just used to all these other soaps, and then this one you lather it up, and uh, 
smell goes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this alum off and go in with the aftershave. All right. So Aqua Velva. I love this stuff. This was actually my first aftershave. That's why I've used almost half of it. But it definitely stings, leaves your skin nice and cool. So. And it's, it's blue. Hmm. Almost no sting. Feels good. Like to put the rest of it in my hair. Just keeps it smelling good. All right. Well, thanks for checking this shave out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video.